Had a nice breakfast at the Grand Diner. Good place, good food. 50s themed diner. Really, really cheap. Good price. Welcome to the Skella Steve Show. I'm your host, Skella Steve. All right. So today, on the Skella Steve Show, I will be talking about. What am I? What am I talking about? Oh yeah, starting off on uh, motorcycle riding. When you get your endorsement and the beginning bikes, you should get. Now, today, um, what, I, what I'm discussing. I'm going to remind you. This is my opinion, my advice. You can take it or you can leave it. I don't, you know, I know some people are going to disagree or whatnot, but I really don't care because it's not like I'm claiming this is just facts because it's just an opinion of a rambling man. Now, so I'm going to start off first things first with getting your endorsements. So when you get your endorsement, uh, there's, there's different ways you can approach it. My way is, what I did was, if you, okay, so if you have riding friends, if you have buddies that ride, I recommend getting a permit. Get a permit at, I know uh, Michigan does, I don't know if, you're, if any other place does, but you go to the DMV and get a permit, and it's like, I think, like 20 questions or something like that, and you can, you can, uh, you can get 80, anything below 80% is a fail. But they're easy questions. And they're in the in the little book they have there that you can get at the, the DMV or in the Secretary of State of our case. Because uh, when you get a permit, you can have a motorcycle. And the terms is, when you have a permit is, you have to ride with somebody that that is uh, an endorsed rider. You have to. And then the other one is you can't have a passenger, you have to have a helmet, and you can't ride at night. Even if you're with other people, you cannot ride at night. And then after you get the permit, you feel comfortable then, uh, if you get a chance, go, go to the safety course, the MSF safety course. I recommend that safety course because you can learn a lot there, and it's, and it's $50. It's really cheap. Oh, my mic fell. Oh, let me adjust it. There we go. There we go. There we go. So it's yeah, it's really cheap to get the indoors to to do the safety course. I mean, it's like, like it's fifty dollars. When I did it six years ago, it was twenty five, but it's fifty dollars now. It's still pretty cheap compared to other safety courses like Harley. And uh, I mean, Harley's like three hundred dollars to do their safety course. And then doing just the testing. There's places that offer the testing, which I don't recommend if you're a new rider, do the safety course. Because you learn a lot. Even though whatever your buddies teach you, you can learn more at a safety course. And a lot of the guys that are at the safety courses are really good riders. I went to, when I went to the, uh, the motorcycle tech school, some of those guys that are in that tech school or were teachers were safety course teachers as well and um they know their stuff they're really great riders and they also offer follow-up safety course like the advanced courses which if you can take if you want to take it take it and the whole harley one i don't like the harley one because for one it's expensive two they'll tell you well we knock down, we'll take that price off if you get a brand new uh, Harley. So they're trying to sell you a new Harley. Sounds good. If you've been riding for a long time, just to get your endorsements, and you, uh, and you never had your endorsement before, say if you're a dirt bike rider, you rode before, and you want and you can get the bigger motor bike, then yeah, do it. Because most Harleys, almost all their lineup, except for the Sportsters, 
they're like 1700 cc bikes i can't remember the cubic inches they have now but every like every year a couple years they always always um upgrade their bikes their their, their displacement and that's why I kind of don't recommend doing that if you're a brand new rider. Don't go to the, motor, the Harley Davidson motorcycle safety course, and then spend that money, or then get yourself a, a big bike. You know, that's my recommendation. I wouldn't advise on it. You know, you're you're really you shouldn't be starting off on a big bike you've never rode before, unless you're a dirt bike rider and you're you're going from uh, and you never had a road bike before and you're getting a road bike. By all means, you can get a big bike. You can get a bigger bike as your first road bike. The reason why I say that, because dirt bike riders are, most of them are one of the best road bike riders too. They have fell on their ass. They've rode rough terrains like, you know, dunes, sand dunes, dirt trails, woods, backwoods area, and they know you know to respect the road because they went to the roughest terrain and all their shenanigans all their hooligan shit they got out the way although they get out the way when they're on when they're on their dirt bike it's a lot of those dirt bikes are just they're 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 fun they're fun to ride and they like riding them and they they learn on those things and then a lot of them can be harder to ride too than the road bike i think actually it is kind of more of a a more of a learning curve on a on a on a dirt bike than it is a road bike. I've never been on a dirt bike, so I, when I started, I did the steps. I did, got the permit and got the, the endorsement, and then I started off on a smaller bike. I started off on a Yamaha 650, a Yamaha V Star 650, and I'm six foot two, and at the time I was like 240. So I'm a bigger guy. I mean, the 650 looks like a bigger bike when you look at it at a distance, but honestly, I kind of felt scrunch when I was on the bike, and I had the bike for about a year, and I learned on it. I learned on that bike. And then after a year, I wanted to upgrade. So that's the thing to do is just get yourself that that smaller CC bike. I don't recommend going over a thousand CCs if you've never rode before. And it's better that way, just because you know you can learn at a, on a small displaced bike. Like if you get a Shadow 750 or a. a a Yamaha 650 or a Suzuki, you know, 800 cc, the the C the C50T or C50 whatever, the Boulevards, or you can get a Kawasaki Vulcan, you know, 650, which that bike is actually eh, I don't know if that's a good idea because oh, it's got a it's got the Ninja 650 motor in it. That's a that's a pretty good motor, <laughs> you know, that's a car rocket. But I know guys that start off. On 650 crowd rockets. I don't know what the placement you should start on a 650 on a, I mean on a, on a crowd tracker because I'm not familiar with crowd rockets. I just know what do you call it? Uh, it's best to start off on a on a, a less than a thousand cc bike for cruisers. You know, it's better to, in my opinion, it's better to learn on those bikes. And then a year or two, you can you know get rid of them and get yourself the bigger bike. And I know there's guys out there that want the Harley right away, but wait. Stick with get a get a smaller CC Japanese motorcycle, or even get like a, an 883 Sportster, or, or even the 1200. Learn on it, and then get yourself the bigger bike. And another recommendation I don't do: if you're getting the smaller CC bike as your first bike, don't buy a brand new bike. Buy a used bike. Buy a bike that you're that you might end up dumping or whatnot, because you're going to be doing a lot of you're going to do a lot of learning on that bike, and you might have a few boo boos on the way. So, yeah, that's not that's that's not the best idea, you know. And you're paying more for the bike too, obviously, because it's a new bike. You buy a used bike, you're gonna get a better deal on it, obviously. So that's what I did, cause mine. And when I started riding in 2014, I bought a 2009 650, and it was like at the, I think it was like four grand for that bike at the time. So it was a good deal for that bike. And if I would have bought a brand new, it probably been like maybe eight thousand dollars. Or seven thousand dollars i'm not sure but you know let's say half the cost i you know it's about half of buying that used one that bike was was at the time five years old and it had low miles too so anyways yeah i don't i don't recommend that like buying a brand new if you're getting a lower cc displacement bike buying a brand new i don't recommend that either so my recommendation is 
if you got riding buddies get the permit uh, get a small cc bike go get your endorsement at the safety course and um that's it and learn on the learn on that smaller cc bike for a little bit and then when you feel like you're ready and you're confident get yourself that bigger bike you wanted get it you know you do it do it you want to, i'm gonna stop right here it's too windy and i don't know if you guys can hear me or not because the wind's really picking up today so yeah like i said that those are my recommendations um just uh if and if you want the bigger bike just wait that's the important thing is waiting if you go for the the bigger bike you, you're and then you're gonna you have a possibility of dropping that bike crashing that bike it's better to learn on the on the smaller cc bike so those are my words of wisdom to you my advice my opinion on getting yourself starting off on a uh, riding a motorcycle and like i said the factors are for me just get your permit if you got riding buddies um then do your do your safe go to the safety course and those safety courses are all over like local community colleges smaller colleges you can go there just but you gotta when springtime comes when they uh, when they make the availability for you you have to sign up and that's why i tell you get the permit too because you might not get the earlier class because those things book up pretty quick from what I, from what i remember and then get to get that like i said get that smaller cc bike and then learn on it for about a couple years and then a year or two then get yourself when you feel comfortable or it might even take longer than that but whenever you feel comfortable get the bigger bike so that's what i gotta say i hope you guys you know take my advice if not do what you want this is america i thought this was america huh isn't this america i'm sorry i thought this was america want to get that big bike you go ahead and do it and best of luck to you god bless I, I suppose but anyways some people some people like to get at it right away with their feet on the ground but anyways this is where i'm going to sign off make sure you like subscribe and ring my guardian bell to get uh, my videos and any picture posted right on your feed your youtube feed anyways scott steve out